I'm Andrea Houston for Extra, and I'm going to be speaking with the Toronto Marlies, who recently took a pledge with You Can Play. The Toronto Marlies pledge to support all of our coaches, teammates, and fans, gay or straight. We stand for the idea that athletes should be judged by their character, work ethic, and talent. Not their sexual orientation. Racist, homophobic, and sexist language have no place in our arena. If you can play, you can play. What did it feel like to take the pledge? Uh, it felt good. I mean, it, it feels like you're taking a stand. Uh, you're doing something that's, that's right, and there's a problem, and you're, you're trying to solve it. Um, it's a bigger issue that's coming up, and, and you know whatever you can do to help the situation is, is always a plus. Why did you want to do uh, the pledge? Why did, it, why did it mean so much to you? Um, I think uh, we actually had a guest speaker come in and uh, he talked about um, he, uh, he grew up in kind of a, a homophobic atmosphere um, as being a homosexual and you know he kind of opened our eyes for uh, you know what he went through and um, we you know we just made a pledge amongst ourselves not to uh, create that type of environment with our team and hopefully that can kind of trickle down and uh, we can maybe even start a bit of a movement. Was homophobic language a problem in the Marley's locker room? Uh, no, I wouldn't say it was a problem, but uh, there was obviously, you'd hear it so, from time to time, but, uh, you know, ever since we took the pledge, I don't think uh, anyone's been saying anything. So, uh, no, it's worked out really good. How would the Marlies feel if a player was to come out and, and, and be as gay? Uh, I think we'd, be, we'd all be fine with it. I mean, we, we've come a long way, um, even since I was a kid, in that sense. I mean, people are more understanding and accepting these days and you know after this uh, you can play pledge I think even more so uh, we've we've come to be very understanding. I love that in your pledge you include sexist and racist language as well you know it's like you, you covered all your bases. <laughs> you know I, I'll be the first to admit it you know there's times when I said stuff that in hindsight I shouldn't have said um, but you know the way we viewed it, it was it was a joke, and it was you know we we're just laughing around and having a good time, and it wasn't uh, you know it wasn't meant to be hurtful. But uh, you know taking this pledge and having uh, the guest speaker and people coming and talk to us, you realize that uh, it is hurtful, and and it's not necessarily the way we feel about it. It's the way the the listener interprets it, and you know it makes you think about you know chances are someone I've played with uh, was gay or bisexual, and uh, you know it makes you really almost regret some of the things you might have said and, and you know you possibly could have made them feel uncomfortable and you know you could have been a reason that they're not playing and you know that could be a superstar in the league so um, you know it's stuff like that that kind of puts everything into perspective and uh, and you know hopefully going forward with uh, with this uh, project and program um, you know that won't be an issue going forward. Awesome guys well done and amazing video I hope to see you at Pride this year. Thanks very much yeah it's it's tough because not all of us are from Toronto you know, that's kind of our time to go see our family, but I'm sure the guys who are in Toronto, who are from the Toronto area, would be more than happy to join uh, the Pride Parade. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks so much. Yeah.